Ciao and welcome to LIS, Learn Italian Songs, Learn Italian with Songs. Io sono Pietro and this is video number two about the song Ciao Ciao by Italian band La Rappresentante di Lista. This is the most boring part of the video because we are going to translate the whole song almost word by word but stick with me because if you watch this translation until the end you will learn a lot of new Italian words and expressions that will be very useful for improving your knowledge of the Italian language. Now let's start with the name of the band which is quite a strange name if I may say so. La rappresentante di lista. It actually means the representative of the list or the list representative. Now, as you know, because I've told you in previous videos, in Italian, every noun must be either masculine or feminine. And in this case, we know that la rappresentante di lista is a feminine noun. And we know it because there is the definite article, which is female and singular, la. Rappresentante is one of those uh, tricky words in Italian because it doesn't end in A or O, so it's not so clear if it's feminine or masculine. And in fact, this word, among many other words that end with the letter E in Italian, can be either masculine or feminine. So la rappresentante di lista, the list representative, is a term that pertains to the political field, specifically when there's an election going on. Every political party forms a list of candidates and the task of the rappresentante di lista is to oversee the voting operations, to see if everything goes smoothly and, above all, everything is done in the correct way. The band with such a strange name is actually a duo formed in 2011 by Veronica Lucchesi, who is the singer, and multi-instrumentalist Dario Mangiaracina. The song that brought them to the present enormous success is the song that we are going to translate today, and it is ciao ciao and it means bye bye now in my previous videos i spoke about the word ciao and specifically you can check out my video on bella ciao and i'll put a link here or here uh, where i explain the origin and the meaning of this word in this case ciao ciao is used uh, as a greeting when you part with somebody and it has to be somebody you're familiar with, uh, somebody you're friends with, because it's kind of casual and affectionate. Ciao, ciao, bye, bye. The song Ciao, ciao took part to the singing competition, the famous Festival di Sanremo. It only placed seventh, but it had a huge success in the following months, and it still has. Now, Let's jump straight to the translation. Uh, you will see the translation here as usual and some important words or phrases will be highlighted in the lower portion of the video. Now let's start with the first verse in its Come stai bambina? Come stai is how are you? And bambina literally means child and we know that since it ends with the letter A is a female child. It can also be used as the equivalent of the English how are you baby. It does not have to necessarily uh, refer to a, a child but also to, in this case, a, a girl. The second line is dove vai stasera? Dove vai is where are you going? Stasera means this evening or it could also be translated as where are you going tonight? And then it proceeds with che paura intorno. This means literally what a fear and intorno is all around. Paura. The word paura means fear. I think I have translated this word with fright in the subtitles of the song, but it's more like fear. And we will see other words denoting fear or fright uh, during the song and I will stop and, and tell you a bit more about those words and the alternatives for fear or fright. Uh, next line is è la fine del mondo. È with the accent it means it is. La fine means the end. Del mondo means of the world. Now if you watch the original video for this song and I suggest 
you watch it because it's a really good video for a really good song. There's a spoken part at the beginning where the setting is a TV show and a TV presenter says something like, and now we present you La Fine del Mondo. And La Fine del Mondo is the end of the world and the theme of destruction and decay is present throughout the song and this is also a reason why I chose to shoot my video in a setting of debris and ruins. Next line. Sopra la rovina sono una regina. Sopra is up or on. La rovina means the ruin and it can be archaeological ruins, so like the remnants of ancient buildings, or it can also be a figurative ruin like a wreck or I'm ruined, sono rovinato. So sopra la rovina, up on the ruins, sono una regina, sono I am una regina, a queen. And then it says ma non so cosa salvare, ma is but, non so, I don't know, cosa salvare, what to save. Next verse. Sono a pezzi già mi manchi. Sono a pezzi literally means I am in pieces. So I'm broken down or I am in pieces. Già mi manchi. Mi manchi is the Italian for I miss you. Già is already, so I already miss you. I'm in pieces. I already miss you. Occhi dolci, cuori infranti. Dolci is sweet, occhi is eyes, so sweet eyes, cuore is hearts, infranti is broken or shattered, so sweet eyes, broken hearts. Following two lines. Che spavento, come il vento questa terra sparirà. Now, spavento is another word to denote fear. Spavento, the word spavento is used more when something unexpected and sudden happens and you say che spavento, what a fright, whereas the word paura, which is fear, can have more of a long-lasting quality. Uh, spavento is more immediate. So after che spavento, which means what a fright, come il vento, like the wind, vento is the wind, questa terra, this earth, sparirà, sparirà is future tense, or sparire will disappear. And then it ends the verse with Nel silenzio della crisi generale ti saluto con amore. Nel silenzio is in the silence della crisi of the crisis generale, general, so in the silence of the general crisis. Ti saluto, I greet you or I salute you. Con amore is with love. So Salutare, from which ti saluto comes from, can either mean to greet someone or to, or to say some words when you part with somebody. And then there's the very catchy chorus, it's con le mani, repeated many times, ciao ciao. Con le mani, it literally means with the hands, although in English it would be more natural to say with my hands, ciao ciao is bye bye. Con i piedi, it means with the feet or with my feet, piedi is feet, and then it proceeds with other body parts, con la testa, with my head or with the head, con il petto, with the chest, con il cuore, which is with the heart, and then we have con le gambe, with the legs or with my legs, and then there's the funny one, con il culo. Culo is a bit of a dirty word, it is an informal word, but it's not like a real curse or blasphemy. If you know some Spanish, you will know that in Spanish there is the same word, culo. It's maybe a bit more gentle than saying ASS in English. I translated this with but, but it could also be translated as bum in a, in a sort of a childish language. Oops, and I was almost forgetting the last words of the chorus, which are coi miei occhi, Coi is the union of con e i, con is with, and i is the, so with the, miei occhi means miei is my, and occhi is eyes, so with my eyes. Coi miei occhi is short for con i miei occhi, and it means with my eyes. The following verse is questa è 
l'ora della fine. Questa è, this is, l'ora, the hour, della fine of the end. Romperemo tutte le vetrine. Romperemo is future tense for the verb rompere, to break. We will break. Romperemo. Tutte le vetrine means all the shop windows. We say finestra to mean the window in, in a house, but when it's a shop window, we call it a vetrina. And then it proceeds tocca noi. Tocca noi, which literally means it touches to us, something like that. Actually, it is an idiom to say it's our turn. Non lo senti. Non lo senti can either mean don't you feel it or can't you feel it, but also can't you hear it. Sentire in Italian can be referred to the ability of perceive sounds or to feel either with your hands or with parts of your body or also to feel an emotion, a feeling, sentire. So non lo senti, can't you feel it or can't you hear it? Come un'onda arriverà. Another future tense, arriverà, it will arrive. Come un'onda means like, come un'onda, a wave. Onda is wave. Me lo sento, esploderà, esploderà. Me lo sento, it means I feel it inside of me. Lo sento would mean I feel it or I hear it. Me lo sento is I hear it myself or I hear it or I feel it inside of me. Esploderà is it will explode. Once again, a future tense with the stress on the last syllable. And then it proceeds with la fine del mondo è una giostra perfetta. La fine del mondo, once again, the end of the world, è, with the accent, is una giostra perfetta. Giostra is a carousel. Giostra is a term that can also be used for like a ride at uh, a fair or at a theme park, but, but it translates more the word carousel. So a perfect carousel, una giostra perfetta. Mi scoppia nel cuore la voglia di festa. La voglia di festa. Voglia is the desire, the longing, the wish, or the need, as I translated it. Di festa is to party. So the wish or the desire to party. Mi scoppia nel cuore. Scoppia is explodes. Nel cuore is in the heart. And me is my. So the wish or the desire to party explodes in my heart. Mi scoppia nel cuore la voglia di festa. And then it says again, la fine del mondo, che dolce disdetta. The end of the world, che dolce disdetta. What a sweet dolce disdetta is disappointment. Uh, of course, if you look this word up on the dictionary, you will find that it, it means a cancellation. But in this case, I think the meaning is more that of a disappointment. And then it proceeds, mi vien da star male, mi scoppia la testa. Mi vien da star male. I translate this as I'm going to be sick. Uh, it does not necessarily mean to throw up, but it, uh, mi vien da star male is like I am going to be ill. I am going to not feel fine. And this mi vien da is I almost feel like I am going to feel bad. And mi scoppia la testa. Once again, scoppia is it explodes. La testa is the head and me is my. So my head explodes. And then once again we have the chorus with the exact same words as the chorus before this one, only with a changed order towards the last lines. And then it proceeds with a sort of an interlude and it goes buonanotte, bonne nuit. Buonanotte is good night, like when you're going to bed. Buonanotte, bonne nuit is good night only in French. Bonne nuit and ciao ciao. So good night and bye bye. And then it says Buonanotte e la fine ti saluto e ciao ciao. Buonanotte once again good night e la fine it's the end. Ti saluto. I salute you or I'm saying bye to you. And ciao ciao is bye bye. And then it adds more times Buonanotte and bye bye. The final part is Mentre mangio cioccolata in un locale. Mentre is while. Mangio is I eat. Cioccolata is chocolate. In un locale means at a bar locale, which can also mean local, so belonging to a certain place. In this case means a bar or a cafe. Following line is 
mi travolge una vertigine sociale. Mi travolge means it sweeps me away or it carries me away. Una vertigine sociale is a social vertigo. So a social vertigo sweeps me away or carries me away while I'm eating chocolate at a, at a bar. Mentre leggo uno stupido giornale, so while I read or while I'm reading, a stupid giornale is usually a newspaper, it can also be a magazine, so while I'm reading a stupid magazine or newspaper, in città è scoppiata la guerra mondiale. In città means in town or in the city. La guerra mondiale means the world war. Guerra is war and mondiale is world or worldly. È scoppiata once again. It has burst out. So while I'm reading this stupid newspaper and eating chocolate at a bar, the world war has broken out in the city. And this is the end of the song because it then proceeds with con le mani ciao ciao, con i piedi ciao ciao, con la testa, con il petto, and all the other body parts ciao ciao, which means bye bye. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, pollice su mi piace, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Videos like these, especially the ones with the song, take a lot of time to make because I'm making everything on my own. So it would be really great if you could share these videos with like-minded people, uh, people who could be interesting in, in the Italian language. Uh, music and culture and of course you can always donate you can donate with paypal if you want and i'll leave a link below or you can buy me an espresso on coffee so that's it for today's video i'll see you on the next of lis learn italian songs learn italian with songs ciao